Hi and welcome to Siska Stitches. In today's video, I'm going to be showing us how to make this beautiful umbrella dress. This method can be used whether you are making it for a child or you are making it for an adult and it is a very, very super, super simple method. So I'll be using a child's measurement to make this dress. And for a child, you will need about half a yard of fabric to make this. If you're making this for an adult, you would need two and a half yards of fabric. So the age of the child that I'm making this for is six months. Okay, that is why I'm using half a yard. As the um, child advances in age, of course, you will need to use more fabric. So in this tutorial, I'll be making the waist of this umbrella dress sort of elasticated. I'll be adding elastic to it because it is for a child. It is going to be too flowy for a child. So I will make it fitted around the waist. And I did not want to attach a belt to it. That is why I decided to use elastic to sort of like hold the waist together. I will be showing you guys how I do this. But if you want to have the freedom of having a free umbrella dress and having an umbrella dress with a uh, fitted waist, go ahead and, you know, make a belt for it. So I'll be using a pattern paper to demonstrate this first part of the video. This is because I lost the footage, so I'll use pattern paper to explain it to us. But after about a minute of this, you are going to see me using fabric for the rest of the tutorial. So what I did was to fold my fabric into two along the long side. And then the next thing we're going to do is to fold it sort of like diagonally like this so i folded it like this diagonally and we're going to start taking our measurements from this part right here after folding so the next thing i'm going to do is come to this point now what we're going to be doing is marking the shoulder measurement so i'm just going to look for a point that matches with the shoulder measurement that i'm working with and i'm going to be marking the shoulder measurement divided by two so the shoulder measurement is seven inches and seven divided by two is 3.5 so i just look for a point and mark that 3.5 there just draw a straight line across those points okay and you have to make sure that where you're measuring that 3.5 from here to here is the same thing as from here to here or close at least so if i come here and measure I have about 4.75 inches. If I do the same thing for this other side, I have about 4.75 inches. So now that that is done, what we are going to do next is to draw the armhole. And we are going to be drawing the armhole where we have an opening. The neckline is going to be where we have the folded parts of the fabric. So I'm just going to come right here. We are going to draw a straight line downwards, okay? So just draw a straight line downwards like this. And after drawing that, I'm going to mark the armhole divided by 2. The armhole round is 8 inches. So 8 divided by 2, that is 4 inches. So I'll come right here, mark that 4 inches at this point. And what I'm going to do is to draw a straight line like this, making sure that it is parallel to this one here. So I'm just going to mark a point like this. So I'll be going with a bust circumference of 20 inches. So 20 divided by 4 is 5, right? So I'll come right here. I have 5 inches. And we're going to be adding about 1 inch to that just to make this a little bit loose. And this 1 inch is going to include seam allowance, okay? So I'll come right here and mark that um, 6 inches. 5 plus 1 is 6 inches. So I'll mark that. And I'm going to curve the armhole like this so you can see this is very very simple then we are going to mark the neckline i'll be going with a neck depth of two inches so i'll come right here i mark two inches come right here mark the neck width i'll be marking one and half so i'll mark one and half here and then i'm going to curve it like this I just decided I'm going to go with a neck width of 2 inches and then I'm going to reconnect. Now that we are done with this, what we are going to do next is to determine the length of the blouse that we are going to be working with. So I'll just work with the shortest side and I have 16 inches here. I'll just place my tape rule like this and begin to mark 16 inches. Okay, so just like this, I begin to mark... 16 inches all around until I get to the other end. After I'm done marking, I'm going to cut out my fabric following the markings that I've made here, the armhole, 
the neckline and the length of the dress. Please note that if your bust circumference did not get up to the end of your fabric, all you need to do is to go on to connect from here to the end and then cut the excess out, okay? So after cutting, this is what we have. What I'm going to do is to go on to cut this part right here. This is where the armhole is, okay? I'm going to go on to cut it into two so that we have the front and the back separate. And now that we are done cutting, we have the front and we have the back. So what I want to do at this point is to go on to create an opening at the back of this dress. This is because this neckline is going to be too small to enter the head of my baby. So you need to actually check that your head can pass through whatever it is that you are making. And if your head cannot pass through, you can either go on to adjust one of the necklines to be a lot deeper. Or I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to ensure that this outfit will pass through my baby's head. So first of all, before we go ahead and do anything, I'm going to be creating a shoulder slant of half an inch. So I'm just going to fold it right back and cut off half an inch. So just like this, just cut half an inch off and we have our shoulder slants done then i'm going to separate the one that is going to be the back which is this one that has the marking right here and what i'm going to do at this point is to just cut the center back a bit i'm just going to cut about two inch downwards this way the dress will be able to fit onto the head of your child. If you want to make it longer as well, up to three inches, that is absolutely fine. So let me just go with three inches. So now that this is done, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of joining. First, we're going to start with the shoulders. So I'm going to take this to my sewing machine, place the fabric pieces like this with right sides touching. So I'm going to sew the shoulder seam by a quarter of an inch and then sew the side seam by a quarter of an inch. So after sewing the shoulder and the side seam, this is what we have. Now what I want to do next is to go on to use a bias tape to turn the neckline and the armhole. First of all, I'm going to grab a bias tape, place it on the right side. So you can see that my bias tape is folded by about a quarter inch. So I'll go on to sew this all around, everywhere around, sew by a quarter inch. And I'll be repeating the same thing for the armhole as well. So after sewing it by that quarter inch, this is what it looks like. Now, before we flip the bias tape to the wrong side to close the raw edges off, I just grab the bias tape like this. And I'm going to align it in such a way that it matches with the fabric on this side. And what we are going to do is to just, after aligning, just grab that part and I'm going to sew it close off. Then I'll trim off the excess fabric. So after sewing it and cutting the excess off, this is what we have. I've repeated the same thing for the other places, that's the bottom of the dress, the armhole. What we are going to do next is to now close this gap that we have here. So I'll just take this to my sewing machine and stitch this place right down and repeat the same thing for the armholes and the bottom of the dress so after doing that i'm going to come to the back of the dress before i go on to close my neckline i'm going to put in a loop that we are going to use to hold this back in place so there's going to be a loop on one side and there's going to be a button on the other side so the fabric piece is measuring two and a half by one and a half inch what i'm going to do to this fabric piece is to fold it like this fold this other part into two like this again then i'm going to fold it over take it to my sewing machine and stitch the edge down so after stitching this down i went on to open up the stitch where i have my bias tape right around the edge of the back at the top here so i'm going to place it like this in there and we're just going to take it to my sewing machine and stitch it down and this is going to form the loop for the button that we are going to attach to this dress so after stitching the loop right here the next thing that we are going to do is to fold our bias tape on the inside and we are going to stitch right at the edge stitch all around for the neckline the armhole and the bottom of the dress so after sewing everything up this is what it looks like all i need to do is to go on to press it so that it looks nice and neat 
this is what the inside of the dress looks like with the bias tape sewn so what i need to do right now is to go on to attach my button right at the back here if you decide that you want to leave your dress like this to be free flowing go ahead and do that but if you want to make it fitted around the waist without having to use a belt this is what i'm going to do i'm going to be marking from the shoulder to the waist now i'll be starting from this side here because that's the highest point of the shoulder and i'll be going with a waist measurement of seven inches so i'll come right here from here now i'm going to mark seven inches here i'll come right here and do the same thing for the other side mark seven inches so can you see what i'm doing so i'll mark seven inches here and i'm going to mark that um seven inches right here i'll repeat the same thing for this other side now what i'm going to do is to connect right here to this part to the seven inches that we marked on this side and connect this one to the seven inches that we marked on this side so just like this and now that i have that marked of course i'll repeat the same thing for the other side as well what i'm going to do is to grab a bias tape i'm going to be attaching this bias tape to this place that i've marked all around the dress so after attaching the bias tape on the inside this is what it looks like now i've cut an elastic to the circumference of the waist the circumference of the waist that i'm working with is 20 inches and all i need to do is to pass the elastic through this part so while sewing the second side i didn't sew it totally i left a bit of space for us to insert our elastic into it so we're going to need a safety pin for that and i'm going to just pass my safety pin through the elastic like this and then i'll begin to push it through this bias tape channel that we have created until we get to right where we started so i just begin to push and what this elastic will do is to gather the dress to the circumference of the waist of the owner of the dress of this child so if you want to repeat the same thing for an adult go ahead and use that if you feel this is going to be more stressful for you you can go on to create a belt for this but i'll just go on and pull my elastic through it until I get right back to where we started and you ought to make sure that while pulling your elastic you do not pull this end through if not you're going to have to start all over again after getting right back to where we started I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and sew our elastic pieces together by about a quarter inch and after sewing I'm going to pull my elastic through okay so that everything is right on the inside and what I'm going to do right now is to go on to sew this place short in order to, you know, close up, finish up our dress. So after sewing it short, this is what our dress will look like. Okay, I've gone on to attach a button to the dress and this is what we have right here. Now, there's one last thing that I need to do, which is right at the back here. In order to make this place really, really neat, what I'm going to do is to fold it like this. And I'm going to go on to sew by a quarter inch all the way to the edge here just to have that, you know, appear really, really so neat. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, kindly give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell so you get updates when I post new videos. And I'll be seeing you in my next tutorial. Bye!